Is this lens worth the price? Well, I'm gonna answer that. I just want to start out by saying thank you to all the new subscribers out there. You guys rock. There's been a like crazy increase of subscribers here. And if you haven't seen me before, then let me introduce myself really quick. My name is Peter. I do live in Sweden and I do like photography and videography tutorials and also some vlogs every now and then. So I do hope that you hit that subscribe button if you like this video and uh, welcome back for yet another lens review. But uh, first, I'm just gonna have some Jubile Must. Jubile Must is a very, it's just, I think this is only something that we have in Sweden, but it's a very special thing. And if you direct translate this, it's called Christmas must. That is basically because you must drink it on Christmas. No, that is not the real translation, but it's kind of a funny one. If you ever visit Sweden, like in the winter, half year, or somewhere close to Easter, then you have to drink, if it says must, then you must drink it. Oh, that is good. So an 85 millimeter lens is a very good focal length to have in your camera bag and I do recommend all the photographers watching this buying a 85 millimeter lens for your camera because you can get those really nice portraits, you can get really nice b-roll, really detailed shots and like really really shallow depth of field especially when you go to f1.8 and most primes are really wide open. And right now there are a couple of options that you can buy for the Sony cameras. You have the Sony 85 f1.8 which I think is like around $550 and then you have this one which is the size baddest 85 f1.8 this goes around like $1200 and then you have the Sony G Master 85 f1.4 and that goes for like $2000 $2100 so there's a quite a bit of a price difference between those lenses and this lens is in the middle of all three lenses when it comes to price but let's get into the build quality Okay, so the build quality of this lens is really good. I think it's a solid piece of equipment. The casing is all metal and it feels really solid. I don't like the rubber on the focus ring. I do think that they could have put like some kind of hard rubber because this feels very soft and this will get torn over time and I don't like that. But on the plus side you do have this o-ring on the back of the lens which makes it weather sealed so you can use this in basically any weather that you can use your camera in. So if it's raining outside or like snowing you can bring this with you and don't have to worry that any kind of moist or anything else is going to come in here because it is weather sealed. I think that the OLED display up here is kind of good uh, I don't really use it that much but it's good to have when you do those manual shots especially when you do like nighttime photography or photo when it's low light then you have this that you can tell the focus distance. What I also like is that the filter thread is 67 millimeters because then I can use the for example the same filters as I have on my camera lens so I don't need to buy like two sets of filters and that is really nice. This lens does have built-in steady shot and if you pair it with your a7 mark III camera then you get really really steady shots even if you shoot at like slow shutter speeds. What about the image performance? Well this is a really 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 sharp lens and you can see in these images right here and here that even if we zoom in to the image it is very sharp. Of course there will be a little bit of vignetting when you shoot wide open with this lens but if you do use Adobe Lightroom then you can just press a button and it's gone. So what about the video performance? Well I gotta say I'm very very impressed with the video performance of this lens. It focuses super fast, super accurate. I've been using this in my last couple of vlogs to shoot b-roll with and for example when me and my buddy Yoon went out fishing I had this lens with me to shoot some of the b-roll and I'm gonna show you. <laughs> So I was using autofocus on all those clips and the lens is super accurate, super fast. So yeah, this is a really good lens when it comes to video. I do highly, highly recommend it if you shoot a lot of b-roll or if you're vlogging or if you want to like have an extra lens that you can get those detailed shots inside or wherever you are where there's low light as well. The steady shot alone makes it worth the price, at least for me. So I do hope that you learned something from this video and made a decision on what lens you will buy for your future career in photography and videography. And I want to thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and do hit that subscribe button if you liked it. It does make a difference. 
Until next time, take care.